my name is Shizue Watanabe. I have a horse pin that was bought at the, the Heart Mountain. One of the Mother Nisei soldiers that took me over there to the dance at Heart Mountain. Well, I, we were talking and I told him, well, I go horseback riding every weekend. So I said, I don't have time to go places with you guys. <laughs> But they said there was a dance at the Heart Mountain and they were invited, so he said, you have to come along as my date. I said, okay. <laughs> Three guys and one girl. But when I went in there, everybody started looking. They, they upset the guys because they're so, but they kept looking at me wondering, now what is she doing here? She doesn't live here, so what is she doing here? So I told the guys, I don't feel comfortable, so let's go back. <laughs> so they said, okay, so we came back. But then in the meantime, one of the soldiers went to inside one of see his friends, and then he bought this for me because he knows I like horses and I went horseback riding. But I never wore this; I just kept it. Okay, this is the horse. Uh, I hid the horse that was actually carved from Heart Mountain wood. Yeah, and one of the Nisei soldiers bought it for me because he knew that I loved to ride horses. You know, I liked horse, so he thought, well, this is a perfect gift for me, which it was. But I, I never wore it. I kept it in a box to keep it. <laughs> so I don't even know the guy's name, to tell the truth. <laughs> and then they knew about the dance in Heart Mountain, so they said, well, I, you can be my date and we'll go over there. So I said, well, I might as well go, see what Heart Mountain's like. But I never really got to see Heart Mountain because I didn't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Because everybody kept staring at me and they were wondering, what is she doing? You know, where does she come from? You know, because I'm Japanese and they're Japanese. And so I told them, I don't feel comfortable, so let's go home. I, well, from Glendive, it's, it's quite a drive because, you know, Glendive's in Montana and Hot Mom was in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. But it's quite a drive. But I don't really recall how long it was. But they went in a car and we went there. That's all I remember. Mm -hmm. It was nice knowing that there's a lot of Nisei soldiers. Mm. Are there any other items that she uh, loaned? At the chest. That's what made him in Yudoka. Okay. A friend of mine <laughs> 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 gave it to me because he knows I sew a lot. Oh. So it, it's got six little drawers. And it's, I know it's all handmade. So I put my sewing stuff in there, my needles and threads and stuff. I made I made use of that. Mm -hmm. I had I had a lot of good memories. I was still in Glen in Montana there, Glendale, Montana. Mm -hmm. He uh, he brought it over. He came, but this person was my ex, <laughs> and he he brought it over and he bought the engagement ring and drove all the way from Seattle. That's a long drive. That's a two day, two, three day drive, I think. Uh -huh. But I just wasn't interested in guys, really. <laughs> yeah. oh. I told him, I like you, but I'm not going to marry you. <laughs> yeah, he was in Manitoba. He was oh, a soldier at that time. Uh -huh. So that's when he uh, drove on his leave. He drove from Seattle way over there. Yeah, I kept it because I was using it. You know, I had good memories of him, but I just, he wasn't my ideal husband. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a pin that made out of shells that came from, oh. from um, yeah, Tulele. Oh. And one of my girlfriend oh. was there, and she uh, made it just a sh like a flower. Mm -hmm. The shells made out of flowers that it came from uh, from Tulele. And, uh, I could tell her name. Her name was uh, Kawaguchi, because she was my uh, my foster mother's her uh, friends. They were friends with each other. So she lived in Sunnydale before the war. She was in Sunnydale, and they had to go down to uh, California. Yeah. Well, she gave it to me. So she made it. So it must have been in, must have been in '43. Yeah. She uh, when she came over, she used to come and visit us. Yeah, when they were with the to leave camp, mm -hmm. I think they left camp because I think uh, if, if they had a place to stay and a job, they mm -hmm. could move out. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got her a job because I was working the nurses in the hospital. Okay. So I got her a job at the hospital and she, they could stay at our house so they were able to come out. Oh. That's when she gave it to me. Yeah, to visit. 
and then she, when she got the job, they told her she would be hired, and, and then she came back. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But she, she was, they were real thankful to, to get out. Yeah. And have a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what she said. They were all looking for a little shell, and they were all making jewelry or different things. Of it, so she gave me the pin. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess they all got together. I guess the group of them would all get together and they were all making it, she said. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she thought that I might like it being it came from the camp they were in. Mm -hmm. So I said, sure. I wore that quite a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to church on Sundays. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. She must have been happy I to see it. I told everybody there, I said, it's one of a kind, you can't buy this. I told <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah.